Hey everyone, it's Steve from 40 Fit Training. Happy Easter, and I hope you're not working and enjoying the weekend and eating loads of chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, just want to congratulate that Easter bunny. He really worked his ass off in the gym today. So let's uh, let's get on with it. Okay, well you may have noticed that I wrote up um, the workout was going to be 90 chin-ups, 90 squats, 90 press-ups, and 90 sit-ups. I think um, that was my Irish version of the CrossFit workout as I completely lost count and thought I'd done 100 of everything and um, only when I checked back on the video found out that no, I missed an entire round off. So yeah, pretty pissed off for that but shit happens as I say. Now so far on the channel I've been showing what I do in terms of strength moves on the, the basic exercises and there's loads more I want to achieve there and I'll be showing that in the upcoming weeks. However today I want to show a little bit of um, you know what I do in terms of conditioning and trying to build fitness and um, I think I'm just over trying to run 5k on a treadmill or row for 60 minutes or um, you know on one of those exercise bicycles for 60 minutes. It just really bores the shit out of me and um, I, you know, I, I just can't do, I can't face doing that sort of uh, fitness work anymore. So I, um, I really sort of embrace some of this uh, CrossFit philosophy and the functional moves that they use in terms of um, building up your conditioning. And let's not forget the kudos of being able to master some of those bodyweight strength movements that 90% of normal gym goers just can't do. So why don't I just go and work out at a CrossFit gym? They got loads of chalk, they got bumper plates, they got Olympic bars, they got lifting platforms, squat racks, you can slam the weights down, um, they've got Olymp uh, the gymnastic rings, and they've got great coaches, um, you know, they can teach you some of these really cool moves such as the kipping chin, the muscle up. Um, using the gymnastic rings. They also run classes for uh, gymnastic elements and handstands and whatnot. But there are a couple of reasons why I don't want to go. And they're really down to sort of the uh, group training ethos and one size fits all um, training prescription that uh, that sort of um, group training environment lends itself to. Now, I definitely don't want to diss the CrossFit community as they're loud and proud, and rightly so. But I'm 43 now, and um, training in a group environment, trying to keep up with somebody who's in their early 20s, I just don't fancy, you know, waking up uh, after, you know, going unconscious through overexertion, um, attached to a defib, and uh, some trendy young 20 something with a massive beard give me the kiss of life so I've cranked up the tempo and uh, I'm gonna knock out a few of these sets and uh, get through it I'll be back in a second <laughs>
So I'm back. I'm back in the room. And apparently I've taken my shirt off. So rather embarrassingly, I've got to talk over the fact that I have taken my shirt off. What can I say? It must be a CrossFit thing. All those guys like getting naked. Anyway. Okay, I alluded to the fact earlier about the group training uh, ethos and why I'm not a huge fan. And that's mainly down to um, my individual needs and being rather selfish. Yeah, I'm getting a bit older now, and uh, but even if I was, you know, much younger, I think everybody's got strengths and weaknesses. And if you want to go after balanced fitness uh, and strength, then you've got to address your weaknesses and uh, whilst not neglecting your strengths. And um, if you want to do that, then you need an individual assessment, and you need an individual prescription. And whilst CrossFit do that in their group training scenarios in terms of scaling the movements. I don't think they adequately address that, um, you know, from a, an individual perspective. But I, that is just my opinion. I should have called this the CrossFit video. Anyhow, it's not just a uh, love affair between me and CrossFit or me slagging off CrossFit. I think it's got some really great stuff to offer. Um, in terms of the facilities, the equipment, and the coaches. Um, and some of the things I don't like are the group training ethos and the one size fits all, etc. etc. But um, there are more things that I want to talk about in the CrossFit realm. Something else that I really like about the uh, whole CrossFit thing is that they've got benchmarks and scores for practically everything so you can look up an athlete and see what their bench press their deadlift their snatch the clean and jerk all that sort of stuff or you know the times that they do the various different crossfit workouts in and what gives what that gives you is a benchmark to compare yourself against somebody else's prowess and strength and also the comp competitive element that that entails um, so never before really when you know people went to a gym you know how much did somebody bench press and you could aim to really you know try and hit that bench press but that's not always really you know an accurate or an accurate thing to aspire to as tonight I saw somebody bench pressing and you know loose loosely you could call it a bench press as he was pushing off the pins with his hips then catching it and doing some bastardized version of a bench press you know I don't really aspire to do that but in CrossFit they've got standards for each particular move so when you measure yourself against somebody else it's an accurate measurement and um, that's something that really didn't exist too much before and I really do appreciate that and um, you know it inspires me to want to achieve more enough enough with the uh, CrossFit whole love fest thing all right okay well my knowledge of conditioning has been pretty downright abysmal so far and I've endeavored to change that by doing some courses and trying to get a little bit educated and reading some books and in the upcoming weeks I'm going to be doing some more videos featuring these kind of workouts and trying to build on my fitness and conditioning levels and um, obviously drop some confusing phrases in there to impress you all with my knowledge but what I want to do really is thank you all for watching. It's Easter. Get back to the couch. Get watching some TV. Stuff your face with chocolate. There is only one thing to eat at Easter, and that's Cadbury's cream eggs. Um, if you see this in a different country, check it out. Um, they're great. They're amazing. And you don't know what you're missing if you haven't tried them already. So uh, like, share, and or subscribe, and I'll see you soon.